How's my quad squad doing? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here. And today I'm bringing you guys Modern Warfare 3 Mondays. It's Monday, guys. Not everybody's favorite day like Wisdom Wednesday, but today I am here to showcase to you guys a little bit. I want to say if a mob fail, but it's really not that big of a fail because I actually don't end up getting the mob because I'm like 22 and 1 and the game ends, but I do end up getting a multi kill right in the end, which is pretty cool. You know, I'm gonna I am kind of here to talk about today Advanced Warfare and Modern Warfare 3. You know, that's kind of why I'm doing Modern Warfare 3 Mondays because I chose my favorite COD and how I want Advanced Warfare really to relate to it. So we're gonna be talking about these submachine guns and how they were amazing in Modern Warfare 3. So today we've got some TDM solo gameplay on Arcaden. Arcaden was a great map. I loved it. It was a really fast pace. You know, they had what, what a lot of people like to call montage, which was the montage room, the upper deck room towards the right of the map. Kind of depends on where you're spawning. But either way, you know, we're all you all know what I'm talking about if you played Modern Warfare 3 Arcaden. So that is a great spot. I honestly really enjoyed it for going in, you know, getting really, really fast paced mobs and getting, you know, quad headshot feed collaterals. Not like I could ever get a quad collateral in my life. Those are so freaking rare. But that's just kind of what I wanted to talk about on arcading. You know, just kind of give you guys a jog your memory of arcading. But again, I want to go back and focus more on submachine guns and how they were amazing in Modern Warfare 3. I'd really love for them to be really dominant Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. It creates a really fast paced, you know, kind of mentality for Call of Duty, which is something that everybody needs. And the majority of people, you know, they really like it when Call of Duty is fast paced. I know I'm one where I really like to see the Call of Duty when it's fast paced. It makes me want to play the game more it makes me want to play for longer it makes me want to go for those higher gun streaks get more kills get more kill streaks just do a lot more in the game because it's constantly constantly going fast and that's something that i loved about modern warfare 3 is definitely the highlight of it now the p90 that i'm using in this gameplay course i got a gold it was kind of like an assault rifle really besides the kick you know the huge magazine was a huge advantage for it and it gave a lot a lot of being able to be able to you know rush and go in and not having to reload all the time that's why you know while also having sleight of hand was basically you never even had to reload because sleight of hand gave you like double faster reloading time or whatever the actual fact of it is maybe it's like 1.6 or 1.7 whatever it is i'm just gonna say double for now so it gave you the ability to reload way faster and that was a big advantage when using the p90 because it was basically like you never even ran out of ammo and i love that the only thing that made the p90 really not like an assault rifle was the the, the high amount of kick which, which really isn't that big of a difference because you know when you're running around with the p90 you're basically going to be up in their face all the time and you can see i do have steady aim set so you know i can pull up my gun faster and my hip fire crosshairs are going to be way smaller another big advantage of the p90 was the hip fire that thing was amazing and you know they had a lot of dominant submachine guns back in modern warfare 3 you know the mp7 the p90 the pp90 those are basically the three most dominant submachine guns you know the ump45 was pretty good but even when they had quote unquote bad submachine guns in modern warfare 3 the pm9 that thing was still a monster you know it was basically you could get a hip fire only actually i do think i got a hip fire only mob with the pm9 that thing you could do that all day and do really really well which is you know that that's kind of cool that they made submachine guns really dominant back in modern warfare 3 now assault rifles are good in modern warfare 3 don't get me wrong you know the acr was really good that was a great gun i really liked it you know i still really like it's so accurate it's it's literally like a laser gun it's amazing it's it's it kills them so fast so accurate such damage much wow but you can see that you know maps like arcadian was another good one where you could rush around with p90 pp90 mp7 you could actually even occasionally take an acr on it kind of depended on how you wanted to play that game but that's really how it went so i actually have recently seen high resolution images of advanced warfare showing tons of color and the reason why i'm bringing this up is because arcade is kind of a, a decently colorful map and that's what i'm looking for in advanced warfare you know having a lot of high colored maps you know really really saturated with color and filled and you know a lot of contrast on them it really creates more replayability within call of duty and that's what what really is call of duty is call of duty is about you know it's all about replayability playing the same game same map same game modes but doing different things and that's what i really like so i like i like my maps to be colorful i don't want to be brown and gloomy like black ops one but either way i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to drop like subscribe for more modern warfare 3 mondays of course i do upload every day so don't forget to do that don't forget to drop a like it's been quantum ft subscribe join the quad squad it's been quantum ft i love you all and i'm out of 5,000.